the key to being a spiritual warrior, which is what he was, he was the guardian of the redeemer. He was, as Pope John Paul II would call him, he was he was the spiritual leader, if you will, of the Holy Family. That's he was head of the Holy Family. He was given that role by God. He was the father of the family. But what does it take to be a great leader? What does it take to be a great warrior? See, Joseph had the secret. It's silence. Because in silence, God's the we can discern God's voice, his mission, his vision, his plan for our lives. See, silence leads to obedience and obedience leads to action and that action leads to glory so if we're not embracing the silence because that we're not going to be obedient and that word obedient in latin is ob adire which means toward audible toward a, a audio voice sound and so when we enter the silence we're waiting on god we're trusting that he's going to speak in some way, shape, or form. We're, we're, we're attempting to discern his voice in our souls. And then he gives us some kind of inclination, some kind of prompting in our conscience that calls us to action. And then we have to rise obedient, obediently in action, which St. Joseph did time and time again. And in Pope Francis's letter, his apostolic letter on St. Joseph, that comes through. Pope Francis focuses on this this haste and this urge and this, this um, instant response of St. Joseph at all those commands that God gave him. That's what it takes to be a mighty warrior of God. And that's what we see in St. Joseph. If you liked what you just saw and would like to see the full interview, click on the watch more box above or else click on the link in the description box below. Make sure to also click on the subscribe button above so as to receive more regular content. Thank you.